here at Hale Air Force Base in Utah, which is one of three supply hubs for the Air Force. We are a DLA Aviation Forward Procurement Site, and we're with the Defense Logistics Agency, the nation's logistics combat support agency. So our mission here locally is to provide the full suite of contracting services to the 748 supply chain. Our primary customer is the 417 supply chain, which is responsible for maintaining landing gear. My direct customer and stakeholder is the Air Force Commodity Council. Enterprise Hill Commodity Council organizes and establishes all the long-term strategic contracts for the supply chain. DLA Aviation is our contracting partner in a lot of these large, complex PBL acquisitions that we put together. This is the landing gear maintenance facility. And here is where they do all the test and check, remanufacture, overhaul, all of these pretty complex, high precision processes that the Air Force manages. Landing gear has always been a difficult commodity to support. Most of the troubles that we have with landing gear comes from forged items. Five years ago, we put this program on to support all of the competitive landing gear that the 417th is the managing organization for. It was an okay program, but there were a lot of things that needed to be changed. So we had this idea to kind of take all of these requirements and give them to a single contractor changed the way that we do business in a lot of ways, which took some forward-leaning thought from the 417th, as well as DLA Aviation. It's the Landing Gear Collaborative Supply Chain Integration contract. We call it LGCSCI, or just CSCI for short. Almost every single one of our legacy systems is supported by this program. By going down to a single source, this allows the contractor to strategically stage material, to work with some of the forecasts that they get from the Air Force item managers and supply planners. And that has allowed the supplier to meet very aggressive on-time delivery metrics. It's allowed the supplier to stage material and create relationships with some of these forging houses that we didn't have in the past. We have a unique structure with this contract where we have a, a dedicated team of administrators it's not always the way that DLA does business. A lot of times work is farmed out to just a big group of administrators across a, a large organization, but we have a unique structure of just our own little cell of administrators that handle these orders. The LG CSCI contract was a competitively awarded contract. Uh, we went through formal source selection procedures to award a contract vehicle that pays a supplier to do a lot more than provide parts. Our industry partner on this program is on the hook to provide engineering support. They do a lot of work to improve the very old landing gear drawings. They oversee the manufacturing of parts, both for the Air Force and the Defense Logistics Agency. And they are incentivized to provide on-time delivery and improve the industrial base for landing gear. One thing that's unique about this contract is there's about 4,500 items on the contract. About only 500 of those belong to the Air Force, and the other 4,000 plus belong to DLA. The contract was awarded back in the fall of 2018. It was about a two and a half year source selection process working up to that. I think to date, they've received somewhere in the ballpark of 15 million parts. And we've also seen a lot of review and cleanup of our tech data packages added new sources of supply to the supply chain. So we've seen a lot of good benefit from this program. Contractor supporting the Landing Gear program is ES3 Prime Logistics Group. Landing Gear is one of the most critical systems on the aircraft. You can't land, you can't take off, you can't stop, you can't steer. We ensure that the parts are built correctly to the technical data package. They're processed correctly so that when the warfighter gets the part, he's got a quality part that he knows will work, perform, and he won't have to do any special maintenance on it. We collaborate with them every day to ensure that we're meeting the requirements, ensure that we're getting quality parts to them, and ensure that we understand what their requirements are and what they need. The award that was won was the PBL of the Year for 2023, awarded by the Secretary of Defense. And it was really a unique honor to kind of just recognize the entire team and all the hard work that's gone on to have such a successful contract vehicle that really gets the warfighter the parts that they need when they need them. Our 
two teams have a really good working relationship. They're very open-minded, they're very efficient, they're super customer support related, and they really understand our business. We will do anything they need us to do and provide the business advice to make sure it's done legally and correctly. We've created something that's been very fruitful for both the Defense Logistics Agency and the Air Force. The bottom line is absolutely providing that support to the warfighter and getting them the parts and services they need when they need it.